no matter what your opinion, I'm, I'm asking the, uh, the bullying to my kids to stop. Candace Meredith shares a tearful plea. The mother of seven asking the public to refrain from harassing her family in the wake of controversy surrounding the show. We were so excited when Magnolia announced their network. But that excitement was short-lived. Allegations of shoddy work, major overage, and missed deadlines now plaguing the couple. The delay continues two years later. Vienna and Rob Goats claim their home renovation never even started. The couple pulling out after construction was allegedly pushed back multiple times, but they'd already made a deposit of $50,000 to subcontractors, which the Meredith's have only partially paid back. I'm really hoping that we can pay them off soon. I want to be able to, you know, tell our kids that it matters um, to do what's right. And hopefully when all this is said and done, um, we'll be able to say that. The one I want to address today is um, Aubrey Benyon, who has started a campaign to take everything away from us. And quite frankly, it's working. In his own Instagram statement, Andy Meredith calls out blogger Aubrey Benyon, whose allegations were the first to surface last week. I just need my house to be done. I need my kitchen to be done. Aubrey claims that when she signed up for the show, the design duo promised her kitchen renovation would take three weeks to complete, with $25,000 set as their budget. I should never have said these short timelines and set these expectations. Aubrey alleges the job ended up taking five months and proved to be far more pricey. It's going to cost about $40,000. And I just, I said, I don't have it. We paid $32,000 difference to finish her kitchen. We haven't heard from her in two years until this week. Another homeowner, Tisha Satterfield Holly, claims she gave the couple $45,000 for what was supposed to be a four week project. Tisha alleges that 10 weeks later, the Meredith asked for an additional $40,000 to complete the job. Tisha calling it the remodel from hell. Anybody who's ever reached out to us about not loving their homes, we've always tried to do what we can. We've always been afraid that we could lose it all. And I think that we have effectively, right now anyway, lost it all.